And a very good evening, everybody. Coyote Girls track team jumped on a bus headed to the state track meet this morning. Tonight we visit with a couple of members of that team on their goals for the biggest track meet of the season. I'm really wanting to PR and high jump and hopefully podium. You work very, very hard. You got better and better. It all paid off and now you're headed to state. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's my first time going. So, yeah, I worked really hard and it finally paid off at the WDA meet. So, I'm excited. And you've been tested. I mean, WDA is tough. I mean, you've been tested. Yeah, uh, definitely. A lot of the girls were competing at the same level at me as me. So, I knew I had to go out and do my best in order to go to state. So, how do you think playing hoops helped you with track? Um, definitely helps me with having a tough mindset and going into the sport you have to have a tough mindset and you can't like get hard on yourself and you always gotta see the positive just like in basketball so has anybody told you what it's like to compete at the state track meet um yeah a lot of my friends have competed so I'll talk to them before we go and you just got to be in the right mindset um I really want a podium in the two mile and try to sneak into the podium in the mile and then the four bay I think we just want to do as best as we can well um, a lot of us are retired from our races before but I just want to get a personal best in my split and just run hard you will love to compete another opportunity for you right yes it's super fun to compete and especially at the state meet racing against all of our other competitors is super fun just to look up into the stands, and it's just, it's a wonderful thing, right? Yes, having that like 5,000 people watching you, it's definitely more nerve-wracking, but it's more exciting, too. And a lot of you folks have been through the wars with cross-country. You've had a lot of success. Yeah. Another opportunity to prove yeah. yourself, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess we can just go do our thing in track, just like how we do in cross-country. There you go. They know nothing but success with that cross-country program the last three years. Busy day tomorrow for the Kyles at WDAs all over the West. Baseball Kyles take on Legacy, who they split with during the season at Jamestown at 11 a.m. Softball takes on Jamestown at 4 p.m. in Dickinson. Tennis takes on Legacy at Mandan, and that will be at 10 a.m. For the first-year Sydney Eagles baseball team, senior Hayden Kahn was a first-team all-conference selection. Junior Ryder Hansen was a second-team selection. They helped the first-year Eagles go 6-9. and nine. Good going, guys. You're part of Sydney baseball history. That's impressive. Twins losers of three in a row looking to get things turned around this afternoon against the Giants. Let's go to Target Field. Let's find out how things did. It's a great way to begin the Twins offense. Eddie Julian from Canada with a home run. How about that? Twins grab the lead one zip. Top, top of the second, Casey Schmidt singles. Mike Yastrzemski is going to score. It's going to make it a one-to-one -one ball game. Bottom of the second, Matt Walner doubles to right. Willie Castro scores. It's going to make it two-to-one Twins. Bottom of the third now, Twins are four-to-one. Blake Scable throws to second. Uh, trying to get Walner. The throw was wild by Brett Weiske. A run is going to score. That makes it 5-1. to one. So even the big leaguers sometimes throw the ball around. And the Twins win 7-1, to one, slamming the brakes on that three-game tailspin. They are off tomorrow. The Blue Jays come to town on Friday. And they're not doing all that well, but a lot of young, talented players. So the Twins get off the mat and win 7-1. to one. But the Giants certainly played them tough. They won the series taking the first two games. This one got over about oh, 10 minutes ago. The Florida Panthers beat Carolina 4-3. They scored to win it with about four seconds to play. So they are headed to the Stanley Cup Finals. They sweep Carolina and their tremendous postseason began. They took out the Boston Bruins in the very first round. So this club, scrappy, well coached. And now they come up with a huge win and uh, we might find out tomorrow who they will play in the Stanley Cup Finals. Vegas with a big lead on Dallas 3-zip. With that, let's take a timeout on First News at 10.